Welcome back guys, it's Preet coming back to the brand new Binding of Isaac video. Today we are back with the Intrigue going for win number 332 in a row. So without further ado, let's get right into the run, get some gaming going on, have a little bit of fun, and see where this run takes us as Eden on hard mode. I hope you guys are all having a great old day. Today we start off with the Spoon, the Bible, the World card, but we can't see the map, below average damage, below average tier rate, and the seed is Q4D7NQ9S. And this is horrifying, especially the fact that it gives us stuff like this. Okay, um, I wish they gave me a sun card so I could at least like kill the spider in here. But these right here are the worst floors like in the entire game. There we go. Thank you for walking over there. Uh, these right here are kind of awful because it requires you to uh, kill a lot of spiders. And they keep on like spawning spiders. And if you don't have a lot of damage, it's really, really rough. Now, I've started this floor before with... um. Like this kind of room before with like one point something tier rate. So, I mean, I've had worse than this. I can't say I've had that much worse, but like, it's not like, it's not the end of the world. I can do this room without taking damage. There are worse rooms where they have like three of those black spiders that all like produce spiders and make your world a living nightmare, but we're fine. Now, as long as we can get something decent, aka not this, we'll be fine. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drop this card. I'm gonna do this and see what I can get from here. Wait, is this, I was about to say, is that another world card? Um, I'm gonna go to the hermit room and there's nothing too good here. Now I will say tarot cloth is not the worst thing ever. It's definitely not good. Oh my gosh, this game really doesn't like me right now. Okay, so the goal is to try to blow this guy up into the tinted rock. Is that gonna be possible? Oh my gosh. You know what? You're not getting blown up into the tinted rock. Oh my gosh, maybe you, I could have done that. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to blow this up. It's going to be fine. We'll get our health. We'll actually get our bomb back. But yeah, today was a, a interesting day. I woke up kind of early because my brother woke me up and was asking me about computer stuff. He kind of wanted me to go to Micro Center with him to see if we could build a new computer. The thing is, we know I knew that the stuff, a bunch of their stuff was out of stock because the website said so. So I'm like, uh, you just need to call them and see like whatever, like if you can get stuff special ordered or if you can only get stuff that's in stock. Turns out at Micro Center, you can only get stuff that is in stock. And you cannot like reserve stuff that is in store only. And most of their stuff is in store only. It's a whole thing. And one of their in store only things is the uh, i9 9 or the i9 13900KS, which is a weird thing because it's like the probably one of the most popular CPUs right now. Because I mean, the KS's are always the best. They're the ones that are the special edition that are just better. They have higher like clock speeds, all that. So like it makes sense why people would want it. Okay, I'm angry that I'm not getting good stuff, but this is fine. I already went to most of the rooms I need to go to, and I don't know why. I feel like I always get famine when I have a bad start. Now that might sound like a weird thing, but I get famine on a lot of bad starts. And it's always disappointing because it's like, I need a good boss item so the next floor is easier. Then I always get one of the horsemen and I get like bandage, ball of bandage. Now I could get like cube of meat, which cube of meat's fine. I'm not in a good spot, especially when he's doing this kind of thing. I'm just gonna do this. Nice. I just need to get some damage in, especially if he's above that rock. I literally can't do anything. All he's gonna do is spawn flies for like 14,000 years. Um, I was looking at a video. I know this is a really weird tangent, uh, but I, I was looking at a video or some comments. Somebody commented on my how to beat convicts past Gungeon, which was a video I released like two and a half years ago at this point. It was before I ever actually got like did anything on YouTube. I released these videos that were literally just me going to the past in Gungeon for the first time and like just beating them because I it was my first time ever. And I, I, I was like, oh, this is going to be how to beat these people. I wasn't actually doing anything. I was literally just figuring it out and saying what I was doing as I was doing it. And so I commented on one of the videos. They said, you, literally nothing you say means anything in this entire video like this video sucks i'm like that's crazy I'm like this crazy. i'm like i know the video sucks i realize the video sucks but to go to somebody's video and be like this is awful it's like you don't gotta do that it's not required oh my gosh this is a really bad room at least i have my dips to protect me and like these guys are awful because they summon so many spiders and i don't have enough damage to kill them fast enough as they spawn and so it's just a thing of like me just slowly chipping down their damage and I'm g I have black heart, so I'm not that concerned. I'll probably just sacrifice a black heart to kill one of these spiders. But like, look, they all summon spiders. And spiders are kind of hard to hit. And look, I killed one spider. There's two more. I killed two spiders. Guess what? There's still like 14,000. 
So it's just having bad damage early really sucks because those are genu genuinely, genuinely the hardest rooms like in the entire game if you have bad damage. I mean, as long as you have damage, there's not really that many hard rooms in the game. Also, could this be the secret room? I think it could be. But yeah, I, I, there's, there's some times where people comment stuff. I'm like, it's just crazy that people comment that kind of stuff. Like positive stuff, it still surprises me that people comment positive things on anybody's videos or even negative things. Like I just don't comment on videos. I've commented on one, uh, like a couple videos in my entire life. And it's whenever I see like a smaller creator that's doing something really good and like i like what they're doing i like to comment because i always like that when people come anybody commented on my videos i, I liked it i appreciate it like it it's great now i still don't understand why people comment uh, it is like it's something that i don't normally do and so like th the fact that somebody else does it is is cool it's not like weird it's not like bad or anything it's just it's just interesting um and do i even want this i don't think i even want bible if i do see a curse room i might use it but can I get a health upgrade, please? And ball bandage actually does do damage, which is nice. Okay. I need to not lose all my black hearts right here. That'd be a big L. And nothing good. Let's go. Okay. The question is, was that going to be the secret room? I think right here. Yeah, I think that's what we're looking at for the secret room. Yeah, I think this is the secret room. I'm going to bomb from the better spot over there where the slot machine is and let's see what it can get us nice money this i mean i'm just gonna do this i guess get more keys more keys are always good early i know bible's really good it can get me flight it can do all that but it also counts counts towards two transformations and now that i've picked it up i'm good um i'm good for a while now i think i might guy what the heck i might go buy tarot cloth Effects are doubled, which is pretty crazy if we can get like a Hierophant card or something. Now, Death card, not as cool. Um, it doesn't do anything for our World card, uh, obviously, because what would it do? I'm going to pick this up, see what it is. Nothing good. I know I just wasted most of my money right there, but it's like if I could get like a health up, a damage up, anything right there, it could have been pretty nice. Now, no matter what, I was going to take any other card other than the World card with me to the next floor because it's a very useful card, but I'm taking it. I'm going to take it. Oh man, today's been a, I don't know why, it's been a tiring day. My brother, since my brother woke me up early and we figured all that stuff out, I like, I woke up with not, I didn't sleep too terribly much. I'm also, let's go. Look at that dodging. Um, so I went back to sleep. I like watched Deadpool. I kind of just laid around all morning because I just like felt blah or blah. Blah is not really a good onomatopoeia for how I felt. So I don't want another dice. I also don't want Gemini. Now, at least Gemini is some sort of constant damage source. So early in this game, Gemini is going to be quite decent for me. But like Gemini can't do much to really help. Uh, I'm not going to. I am going to go. Am I going to go? I don't know if I want to go in there. I'm going to keep my key because I don't need to spend it. But yeah, Gemini is going to be decent. It's not like a super, super good item. I mean, it's damage. Any damage I can get right now is better than what I had before. So, I mean, I'm better off. Like any sort of familiar early game is actually super huge just because it is extra damage. Now, the reason I don't love it is because as soon as I get damage or as soon as I get good stats, it becomes kind of obsolete. I'm not really going to get close to enemies, especially if I'm just having a tier build. So it's not like some, it's not something I necessarily want. Oh, it's a little unfortunate. Now I do need bombs and keys, I guess, but money's also good. Do I want to D1? I'm just going to D1 both of these and see what i get i'll probably get a penny if i'm unlucky i'll get a really good coin if i'm really lucky and i'll get a key if i'm just none of it hey oh my gosh i did not realize that these black spiders were here i've mentioned it so many times i have really bright lights so that i can so i can record because if you notice my lighting it's pretty decent it's not the worst recorded like lighting ever um but in order to have nice lighting you have to have very bright lights pointing into your eye sockets now it doesn't really affect me while I'm playing games that often, but when I enter a room like this that is already decently dark and there's a black spiders on the background, I can't see anything. I mean, I can see them if I really like squint and look, but it is it is quite te not tedious. It is quite rough. Also, I'm not going to be going to the devil deal this run like I was the last couple of runs because it would be kind of useless for me to do that. Devil deals are not going to be helpful. They're not really not going to do much for me. 
And just in general, bad. But I don't have any health, so it's not going to help be helpful. Now, I do want to do two things. I want to take you, which not super useful. I want to pick up you, which is the reverse sun card, which is actually pretty decent. Your red hearts turn into bone hearts, which I don't have any. It applies curse of the darkness, but it also gives me damage and spectral tears and stuff. Um, I'm going to take you and reroll this. I know I could have optimized my charges better. I know, I know, I know. This is fine. Now, I need a bomb. I'm not going to get a bomb. Was in the direction. Keys deal damage, destroy obstacles. Okay. So we're going to take this real quick. We get you. We use the sharp key. And it actually gets us a chest. Does it always get you? And he's killed with key can spawn the contents of chest. Oh, no. That was the... I'm dumb. That was the tinted rock that gave me the chest. That was so confusing for some reason. I don't know why that, like, hurt my brain. I'll take that. I'm going to keep D1 with me. I don't really like sharp key. It does give you five keys, so it's always worth the buy, especially if it's on sale like it just was. But other than that, it's not like... Uh, it's not an item that I necessarily require. Uh, it's not really a good active item at all, really, in my opinion. Speed up range down, not bad. I do like speed. It, I mean, having less range for speed is not a bad trade-off just because, I mean, if you have speed, then you can dodge easier. So, like, it makes so having less range is not the worst. But can you please die? Thank you. And these guys are always so weird. The only time I get hit by them is when I just, like, feel like they're not going to shoot at me and they just actually just snipe me. Like a baller. So, it's a little rough. Uh, now, if I could actually get health from the reverse sun card, which I don't think I can, I would maybe go to the devil deal, but I think this is just an angel deal run. I don't know, though. It's kind of rough because usually if I have a really bad stat run, I will go for devil deals. The reason why is because devil deals give you a lot more damage, while angel deals give you a lot more defensive items. So, by going for angel deals on a bad start, you're just pretty much making it so you'll have to stay in fights longer, but it's going to be a lot harder to take damage or die. Because like that, the run I got Glyph of Balance the other day was one of the worst runs I've had in a long time. But did I did I ever get close to death? Not at all. I just didn't ever get anything good. It's like my stats were pretty abysmal the entire game. Um, Like, did I win pretty easily at the end? Yeah. But like, it took so long. It was a very long, long, tedious, rough run. So I'm not even dodging that well anymore. Gemini is the only thing that brings me joy. Even though I don't like Gemini. Okay, can you actually just focus on the correct person? Thank you. Uh, now, I'm just going to go for angel deals. I think it is the way. Because there are items in the angel deals that get you damage. Don't think that's... I'm not saying that you won't get damage if you go angel deals. But, like, the chance of you getting damage when you go angel deals is a lot lower. Also, how did I know that was there? It just, you just guess. You just got to guess. Um... There's not much else I can really do on this floor. I know that there was some good items in the shop, but I can't really do much with those. I'm going to take the reverse sun card. If it ends up giving me health, I'm going to cry a little bit. But I think it's the reverse empress card that gives you health. I don't I don't know. Reverse sun card is not good. Reverse moon card is really good. I don't know why they decided that. Um, it's a little bit of a weird choice. But this is fine. I feel like the secret room is going to be right here. No. It's just, these rooms always seem to lead to the secret room. Now, did it right there? Not at all. Not even close. No secret room in sight. But yeah. I worked today. I was just so tired. I wa I got there. At, I got to work today. And I was supposed to have two students at four. Both of them just didn't show up. I was like, okay. So I should random work around the office and like just was updating binders, just doing random stuff, just getting things done. Um... Oh, wait, I forgot I can get trinkets. I pretty much have a trinket spawner. Now, I don't want Lotus. Lotus is pretty fine. It That one's pretty decent. Fly deals four times my damage, which four times my damage is like still not much damage. That's like giving somebody four times nothing. It's almost something if you really think about it. It's still nothing. There's this... Um, one of the girls I was working with today, I don't know, it's one of those things that we've been working on factorization or fact, yeah, factorization for a second, a second. It's like, it's factorization uh, or factoring uh, like polynomials. Um, and the whole idea with uh, factoring a polynomial is you find the greatest common factor, which is usually part, partially a constant of some, or some sort of, co it's the 
greatest common factor of the coefficient of your variables and it's the greatest common factor of the variables you have so let's say you have y to the fifth power x to the third power minus y to the second power x to the seventh power the greatest common factor is whatever i said was the lowest y degree and whatever the lowest x degree was and it, she just wasn't getting it and i was like it's unfortunate i try to do my best um to explain as well as i can at one point she's like that just confused me more than anything and i'm like i'm like i don't know it's like i was trying to explain why we, we do a factor fact we factor by grouping sometimes if you guys don't know what factor by grouping is factoring by grouping is when you have like four terms that you can split up into two different sets of terms that you can like just it just makes you your factoring a lot easier i'm not going to explain it. i can't really explain it also i'm taking this because lacrophagy is one of my favorites the only issue is it doesn't actually give me any sort of tangible stats uh, i'm gonna blow this up because guess what i'm a rebel now did it blow up the wrong thing yeah yeah it did yeah it did that's sick um i'm gonna blow you up get all the money from you i'm gonna take backpack because i don't know what to expect on this run and i'm also going to take you for a second and that's not bad i can actually instant kill the boss with that now i'm gonna take the reverse card that i have i have with me for a while there's no real reason to do it it just is a high damage increase which i like damage damage is fine look how sad this is lacrophagy is not really fun when you have bad stats it doesn't do much and <laughs> like most of the time it just it really just doesn't do much now when you have really good stats it goes crazy when you got when you have soy milk soy milk and lacrophagy oh my gosh it's the combo wombo made in heavy webby um uh i'm just gonna go kill the boss hello boss that's what we're talking about high priest is actually a really good card it's one of the few cards that will just consistently just full kill bosses really fast also, you do see that blood clot only affects my left eye. So that means that it only gives me a damage up for that one eye, which is not super good, but it's fine. Okay. You gain flight spectral tears. Flight spectral tears is fine. I don't know when I would need that. Now I will go to the mirror realm. I think I just burped a little bit. It just forces its way out. I'll be honest. It scared me a little bit. Okay, uh, I found the secret room already. I feel like the mirror realm is not a bad idea. I don't have stats. I don't have like any stats. So it's not like I can do well. But the sun card is last for one floor. I think I just use the sun card right now. I know that's a really random time to use it, but it does increase my damage and I probably just should have used it earlier. Now I didn't realize it, was, it worked for an entire floor, which is an interesting concept. Oh my gosh. Get me out of here. I just don't know what tiers are mine, what tiers are the enemies. I didn't understand what, what was what for a second there. Now, I'm pretty safe in these floors now. As long as there's not enemies that can like hit me above rocks, I'm pretty good. Now, because I'm me, I'm going to get as aggro as possible and get really close to enemies so that I can just kill them faster because I don't want to spend too much time on this floor. But, like, if I need to, I can come up here. They're not going to be able to hit me. I'm not going to be able to like really die at all. You can be really, really safe with Lost because, I mean... What, what else is going to happen? I'm just going to be on top of a rock. They literally can't do anything. Now, these guys right here, it might look like they can hit you when you're standing, like where I'm standing. But this is going to prove a point. They actually can't hit you. It's really, really weird. I, it might have just missed me, but I'm almost positive. From what I know, you can't be hit by those tears if you're over a rock because they technically can't hit the rock, I think. Something like that. Now, I might have just risked my life and been completely wrong and don't know anything. That was always a possibility. I really don't know. I'm going to be honest. Um, but I'm going to take the express route and we're actually not doing too bad. I mean, lacrophagy, lacrophagy is just a weird item to have to get on a bad run. I love lacrophagy. It's one of my favorites. I know it's not even called lacrophagy or maybe it is. Um, but it is, I don't know. It's just, it's just interesting. Why is that still there? I'm going to blow it up because I don't want anything from it, but we blow this up. I'm going to go to the shop real quick. I feel like that's really not super good. But do I need so much speed? I feel like I take that. I don't need like as much speed as I have. Is there not a reroll machine? I'm confused. I'm going to use Goat Hoof for this fight. I'm probably going to take the other one. A 6% chance at getting like Eternal Hearts is actually pretty decent. Now, I don't know what 6% chance that is. Is that just a general 6% chance or anytime a heart spawns 6% chance? I'll never know. Okay. 
You are dead. I will use any means I'd have to to kill bosses right this second. And that's actually really, really solid. Now I'm going to come in here. I'm going to do this. And I'll take Bible Track because it's only minus 0.15 speed, which I didn't really realize for a second uh, before that. But it's not a big enough like speed down that it's going to matter too much. I'm pretty fine. And please, I just want to get out of this floor at this point. I, I, In Lost Form, when you're weak, it's just one of the scariest times of your life. I feel like at any minute, I could just absolutely just bite the dust. Bite the bullet. Kick the bucket. I don't know. I'm, I'm biting or kicking or doing something. Why am I here? Hello? What am I doing? This was an easy room, luckily, but what am I doing? There was no point to be here. Okay. 20 minutes in, and we've gotten to the third floor. And that right there is about par for the course for this type of run. Uh, our tier rate and our damage is higher than than base at this point, but that's only because we have a card that's giving us more damage. So as soon as we get to the next floor, we're going to be back in the, the trenches a little bit. I'm just going to blow this up. Who knows what this is going to give me? And a lucky penny. A lucky penny is not bad. Now, I just don't have any luck based tier effects, I don't believe. And this is the first time I've gone to Mos or gone to mines in a while. So I realized I had um, Dreamcatcher the other day, but never used it. I didn't even talk about using it after I was just going for it, for the, like doing the run. Definitely an interesting concept on my part. Usually you want to like use the items you get, but you don't have to. That's the beauty of this game. And please. A lucky penny is not the worst. Now, I probably should have tried to use my bomb chest a little better. And that's super good. Okay, you know what? This run has gone from bad to... I'll deal with it. That's... It's 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 a run. Our stats are still, like, lower than... They're slightly higher than average Isaac stats. Average base stats. But they're not... They're not great. They're not wonderful. Also, I just... I'd rather have higher damage than higher... Anything else? Uh, I'm going to come in here. You're beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh, how did I not get hit right there? It always sucks when you get double troll bombs. Like, at least give me like spiders. I'd rather just kill spiders. All day, every day. So Gemini, you're my only hope and you're so slow. I think they should make Gemini a lot faster. I know it's like it's just a, such a weird thing, but like... I guess there's not many familiars that like reach out and like touch enemies. So Gemini can be really good. I don't know. I just, I like the idea of change. Why? Because it, it would suit, it would help me a lot if just random things change to be a lot more OP. I think it would help everybody. That's my stance. And you know what? I love Tech Point 5. Now the other one would have been pretty decent. I don't have Red or L, so I actually wouldn't have. But the idea is cool. Oh my gosh. Well, oh my gosh. I'm getting so lucky right now. Now, using D1 on those chests right there is kind of a crazy, like, one of the better moves you can do. I'm not trying to pat myself on the back, but I just realized, I'm like, that's actually pretty sick. Getting more chests is always good, especially when I have a good amount of keys. I can get more keys pretty easily because I do just have an item that lets me clone keys. Okay, good. I thought I wasn't going to be able to kill those guys in time. When you have low damage, that, ro that room can be scary. And a health up. Oh, my goodness. And a and a rainbow worm, not good. But I I like the I like the hype. I, the game is bringing some some energy now. The game is starting to do some things to me. The fact that like every chest has been an item, the game actually might love me still. So I want if I had homing, could like Gemini just be better? I wish there was like some sort of combo with that. That'd be fun. And oh, a flat file. I love flat file. Now flat file is kind of useless. Um not useless it's like not super super helpful it is nice because it allows you to go into curse rooms for free for free or free absolutely for free which is really cool it's really nice not losing that much health is great and especially later in the run when you start taking a full heart of damage when you go through the curse room or like two full hearts two full hearts of damage in total it gets a little brutal so it's not it's not a terrible eye it's it's actually a really good trinket now for me right now i don't know maybe it will it, w it might be better than what i have I think this is when I take mom's box. I forgot that I have this. Okay, well, this is actually kind of sick because I can just get crazy amounts of things. Um, I think right here I do take flat file. I also, okay, wait, what does this do? Worm stats are tripled. It's not terrible, uh, but I don't want it. 
nine percent chance is not ter that nine percent chance is actually pretty good i don't know i really don't know what i want to take right here it doesn't seem like there's any right options or wrong options really it just seems like i'm lost in the metaphorical sauce and i feel like the secret room is going to be right here nice i like when i'm right you know it's one of the best feelings ever when you just say something and it actually happens it's beautiful let me tell you um but i'm trying to decide do i want to also wait what what was a 9% chance? Something was at a 9% chance, and I don't know what it was. It definitely does say 9% chance, but when I have it in my hand, it says 6%. I don't know. I don't really know. There's not really a, a reason I... You know what? I'm doing this. That's fine. Um, There's not really a reason I need to take Flat File right now. I'm not, I haven't gotten any Eternal Hearts yet, so I've, maybe like this isn't useful. But hey, like, my tier rate's crazy now. High tier rate Lacrophagy goes really, really crazy. Because even if you miss your shots, your tears can still hit enemies, which is what you want to see. That was a dodge. That was a dodge right there. I'm proud. Okay, good. Nice. My tears being red definitely does not help anything. I need damage. Oh my gosh. I, it's like, I always get these runs where I get a bunch of tier 8. I'm about to max that tier 8. So if I get more than one more tier 8 item this entire run... I'm gonna wig out. It's gonna. It's not gonna be a pretty sight. I'm gonna have a little bit of a TT tantrum. I don't even know what a TT tantrum is. I just like the sound of it. Okay, if I get wafer, this is gonna be the best run in the existence of runs in the entire universe of runs. Oh my gosh, who are you, and why are you here? Okay, now here's a tier rate up. Okay, I'm at max tier rate. Now you give me another tier rate up item. I'm gonna get a little angry. Mom's pad, you're scared of me now. Ooga booga. Okay, maybe I, do I sacrifice? I feel like I don't need to because I've already gone to the angel deal. Now this is about par for the course as well for a bad run where like you get a bunch of stuff that like facilitates the run, but you don't really get like facil facilitates your life. Make sure that you don't die. But you don't get anything necessarily amazing. And it's always the runs that start bad. Like, when the run starts good, it stays good. It's the law of Binding of Isaac. The run likes to be just terrible to you. We'll see what happens. I feel like this is the super secret room. Oh my gosh. I am on one today. I just know things. I get it. I get it, game. Also, I'm going to get flat file later. I think I am just going to sacrifice. I feel like it's the play. You know, I think it is. It could give me an angel item. That's what I'm thinking. Now, I don't have that much health. My stats aren't that good. So should I be doing this? Maybe not. But look at this. You can't tell me that this is a bad idea. You just can't. You simply cannot. Am I going to regret this? Oh, heck yeah. Okay, you know what? Maybe I will regret this. Maybe that was the worst idea ever. I know I didn't even go for, like, I didn't even go that far. I need more health. Can I get more health? Is that an option? Not more health, noticeably. Now, if I had just a little bit more red heart health, I would actually be perfectly fine here. Um... Hmm. Fight me, angel. I might as well get the the next key piece. It just increases my angel deal chance, so I don't have to do that later. Um, if I could get a soul heart or something, and or like maybe also not step on the spike on accident, that would be pretty cool. Like I just need a way to like not take damage and be able to get the soul hearts right there. Now, is there a way that I can wait, the way that I can do that? Most likely not. Um, is there anything in the shop that could do anything for me? So before I die, I'm going to do this. Now, wait, no. Why am I taking Wiggle Worm? That's not what I wanted. I'm going to take this just to be safe. I'm going to blow this up. That's crazy. 
Um, well, I think that's about it. That's about all I can do right here. I know I have no health now, which is just not the best place for me to be in, personally. But I like it, you know? I like I like the position I'm in. Hmm. I'm going to do this. I'm doing every little thing I can just to make sure, ensure my the longevity of my run. They might be like, are you just wasting bombs here? I'm actually looking for money, which I'm getting. I'm going to blow all. I don't even care. I don't even need bombs. Who needs bombs? Not me. If I get a quarter here, that'd be hype. Okay, now that's fine. I don't know why the angel deal actually stayed there. I like it. Um, and I'm going to do something kind of weird. I'm going to pick up Bible Tract real quick. And I don't think I can get an Eternal Heart out of this sack. But if I have an increased chance of getting it, who knows what can happen. And that's not exactly what we wanted. But it's what we got. Now, if I could take damage without dying, I would. That's not possible. Okay, uh, we take you. Is there anything else I can blow up on this entire world? On this entire game? Like, is there anything I can do? I could get Magic Mush. That's one of my few options. I know I'm just wasting bombs at this point, but hey. This is... This is it. Amnesia. Now, what if Amnesia gave me health, per se? Maybe I just shouldn't have sacrificed. I didn't realize how little health I really had. Okay. Health. Okay. I'm going to be fine on the next Lord, though. I should be okay. I'm not really that concerned. I just wanted a sacrifice. Now, being low on health, not the best idea. Not really a good idea at all, honestly. But we'll see how it goes. And that's just Red Heart Health. And I know. That took me forever. Just go faster. I'm trying. I'm trying my best. I'm trying to do whatever I can to make this run the best it can be. And you know what? This run just doesn't facilitate uh, uh, anything good. I like the word facilitate today. I don't know why. Be good. Okay, a key. And tech point five is actually not the best item ever. It, it's really fun to have it whenever you have like homing with like a mom's knife build or something. Just get shoots out like a little, a little, little something else. Not great. Um, Wiggleworm's actually really good. This is what we're doing. We're just going crazy. I do want to see if I can get a soul heart. So I'm going to do this. A soul heart right here would be huge. I'm just going to do this. Nothing good in there. Just a soul heart, please. That's fine. Anything's good. Now, higher tier rate is not actually useful to me because I already have max tier rate. I just realized that. I didn't just realize that, but like, I, I realized it would not be super helpful. Now, I this is like one of the scariest floors ever. I'm going to go to the boss arena room to like, see if I could get anything to happen, but I, I'm risking it all, guys. This is not necessarily a great idea. Now, a damage up is going to help me a lot right here. I, pro uh, I was like, I probably should have taken flat file right here, but I'm good. I'm good. I'm feeling a lot. Oh my gosh. I should have got hit because I am kind of playing so bad. I just need a soul heart. Like just a, a little, a little tiny, teeny bitty, weeny bitty soul heart would be just lovely in this economy. Now, depending on what other boss I get, I'm going to be terrified. Also, can those spikes still hurt me? I know like technically they should be able to. I'm not saying they shouldn't be able to, but like, it would make sense. Oh my gosh. This room's hard. I don't know why I actually came in here. I'm gonna be honest. I'm terrified. Now, do I do a lot of damage or a decent amount of damage? I actually do. I'm like, not like, I'm not struggling too hard. Oh my gosh. I am struggling a little bit though. Now, Clutch, you don't actually have to stand next to to actually do anything with, so. I'm like, I'm fine. I'm terrified, but I'm fine. Okay, um, what do I do here? I just can't take damage. Nope, okay, uh, can't take damage. So I'm gonna look for some health real quick. I know I put myself in the situation. I got this. Now I'm gonna try. S Wait a sec, I'm done. I can just do this. Okay, you're scary, actually. 
small room. Ooh, okay, nice. I just need to get rid of these stupid rock worms. Ooh, it's health. <laughs> Let's go. I want to take damage now. Okay, nice. Nice. Okay, there are going to be worms. You can tell as soon as you get into a room like this, that's like, okay, why are we in a room with just two flies? There's a lot more than just two flies here. Keep her sack. Interesting. Luck up. I mean, can't get much worse. You know, I mean, not, not than a luck up. Like, it's not like I expected that pill to be, to actually do anything bad for me. You know what? Get out of my way. And like, am I being kind of risky this round? I mean, yeah. Does it get a little scary? I'm terrified. I'm gonna be honest. This is just not like, not super enjoyable at, at all. But it's what I gotta do. It's what I have to do. It's part of who I am. I don't really need another trinket. I'm, not, I'm just gonna do this actually. It actually works out. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Oh, so I lost my deal. That sucks. I forgot about that being an option. Well, I do get to go into the curse room for free, which is kind of like the hype thing that I was talking about. It's why we do enjoy going with the flat file. Okay, I, I think what I want to go do is actually just get a bunch of free stats because I have Candied Heart. You guys might be like yelling through your computer screens. Go get rid of your health at the blood donation machine. Now, you guys sound weird. I don't know why you sound like that, but I'll do it. I'm going to get it so I can go get some free stats. I mean, free stats are great. Free stats are wonderful. We don't despise free stats. And I also get us some money. And money's going to be good since we do have Keeper Sack. And so we just have a lot of things that can give us stats now. Now, I'm going to take this really quick. Because it allows me to just speed up what I'm doing right here. It allows me to do exactly what I'm doing here. Which is just get health. Get rid of health. Repeat. I think I am gonna take D1 with me. I mean, actually, I think this is really good. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep keep it like this. I think having something that can get rid of Red Heart Health will allow me just to get free stats, which is honestly better than anything else right this second. I think that D1's fine, but it's not really giving me too much value other than chests, which chests are cool. But I'll be fine. I'll be fine without it. I'm not going to mother again today, so we don't need to expect that. If I got a anything right now, if I got like uh, if I got an angel deal right now, that'd be really sick. Where's the super secret room? Oh, I forgot that we found the super secret room almost immediately. Nice. Okay. Thank you for giving me that half soul heart that I lost. That's wonderful. If you give me an angel deal right here at game, I'm gonna be forever indebted to you. Indebted is a good word. Is that even a That is the word. And you might be like, why are you holding on to the bomb so long? I just want to make sure I hit it as quickly as possible. Now, I will take you. I don't think I'm going to go... Mausoleum. I'm going to go Mausoleum. You can't stop me, game. They might be like, that's dumb. I know. I know. It's unfortunate, isn't it? Why do I have to make all the dumb, the dumb choices? because they're the right choices if you think about them it always will be okay next lore that actually helped out a lot uh put me in a spot where i'm not just gonna die i'm not gonna lose my deal instantly uh but we should be able to get an angel deal on this lore i didn't realize that the last lore we actually that last lore we did have a high angel deal chance so it's not even like it mattered that we lost it okay i expected to take damage right there in that corner i was very scared for my life what are these pills Tears down is not good. Actually, tears down doesn't matter because we already have like max tears. I don't know what I'm complaining about. There's nothing to complain about. Should be one more wave, right? No, I already cleared most of them. Nice. Shots appear in the womb and corpse. I'm not going to corpse. I could go to womb, but I don't think I want that over what I have right now. Okay, good. I wish I still had the thing that let me find the secret rooms easier. This is the thing. Who needs to be able to find the secret room easier? And you can just find the secret room. First try. Let's go. Okay, you know what? You're getting all my health. Should I wait to get more health to, to give him health? Maybe. Wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? I'll never know. Okay, Um, I'm not getting really any that crazy of trinkets. Like, if I get, like, Curved Horn or something, I'm going to take it. 
Sigil of Baphomet right now might be something I take over what I have. I don't really know. It's like a lot of things could be very useful right now. But will they be game changing? I don't know. I'm just like Sigil of Baphomet. Is that actually going to help me? And Lead Pencil is actually so crazily hype. What the heck? A tears down, a luck up, and a health. And this is a, a room... This only affects this room that we're in right now. This uh, two pip room. If it's a three pip room, it affects the whole floor. That's why I just rerolled as soon as I found it, because there's no need to wait. It only rerolls that one room. Now you could carry like cards in there and that kind of stuff, which would get you more stats, but it's not something that I need to do. Now, if I could get more health right now, that'd be nice. Quite nice. Quite superfluous, actually. I like big words. I'm not. I don't use them correctly. I feel like most of the time, but. It's the idea that counts. Okay, we'll take you. We'll take you. That's great because I have tarot card. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? I need more money. More money. Okay, get me out of here. Get me in there. I don't even know. Okay, that's almost enough money to do something with. And I do have placenta. I keep on forgetting that I actually have something that can. Give me more health all the time. So I'm going to go sacrifice a little bit more because who needs red heart health? Let's be honest. Kind of want to get rid of soul heart health. That's just a dumb idea. It's the same It's the same concept as sacrificing with no health. I shouldn't be doing it. A okay, gulp penny. Yes, or gulp penny. Swallowed penny. Flavor text of gulp. Gulp penny just makes more sense. You know what? I'm going to say it. And you're a legend for that. For blowing that up. In fact, if it had something in it, that would have been cool. But, like, still a legend nonetheless. Legend status, not revoked. Oh, my gosh. You're still alive? That's crazy. Um, I know I just never take holy water. Never a reason to. Let's talk about it. Why is there ever a reason to take it? Uh, I am going to take this. I know holy water is just just the better item. I know holy water is fine. I just don't care about holy water. Is it good? It's really, really good. It's really awesome. I'm taking risks here. I need like better stuff for this run to be good. Now, the card just allows me to get more health if I really need it. Uh, not good. I will go back and get my other item later. What was the other item? Whatever it was. Oh. Yes. I remember what the item was now. Blood bag. I, uh, IV bag. What even is it? It's not IV bag. I don't know. I am... I'm so tired today. I don't know why. I've just been like... So extra tired recently. Like, not even because I'm not getting asleep or anything. It's just... If you know, you know. Okay. Um... Can I get another charge on this? I can. I will. Okay, the cult leader. Kind of cringe. I can do it pretty quickly. Can I? Oh my god. What? Okay, I got hit by nothing, and then I just all of a sudden got hit by something. All of a sudden. Not very cash money. And I'm going to get my deal this, this, this room. This floor. Yeah, you think you can hit me? <laughs> you almost did. <laughs> okay, spun would be great. More health would be great. It's all great. And is that great? I don't know. I don't need to fight the angel again. That's the good news. And we no longer need yummy, yummy heart. Okay, can you stop? I don't want that item. I've revoked it many a time. Don't need it. Okay. Okay, I just want you to pay out. Just anything. Die. Well, you have. You had something. The game didn't like that. Interesting. Now, let's find out. Did I just lose everything? Can you not kill Jacob? I think it always crashes your game. I think I've done this before and just crashes your game every time. Let's go find out. Yeah, I think it crashes your game every time. Now, am I going to start over on this floor? I am, in fact, going to start over on this floor. Well, we got to do everything in the same order we did the first time and not take any more damage. Let's go. 
Now, did we find anything good on this floor? I don't remember. Now, we did not get anything. We got almost nothing good. Now, am I going to take holy water this time? You know what? I won't. I tried to keep it as similar as the last time. Anytime I do anything like this. So, I walked in here. I said, oh, wouldn't it be nice if I had something I could let you find the secret rooms easier or something dumb like that? I was like, haha, yeah, unless you just find it yourself. And I went, and I was like, oh, I can't get health. Oh, this sucks. And I probably like ran back here and was like, I actually came here first, didn't I? I was like, oh, what do I do here? What do I do here? I am disappointed in myself. Now am I going to maybe change up what I buy in the shop? I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? I'm not trying to change things up, but like, I don't exactly remember specifically what I spent money on and what I didn't spend money on. Now, I can super, super hardcore play this floor to the best of my ability. Because I'm that good. Just kidding. I, I'm just... It's really annoying when the game crashes. The fact that it doesn't ha like create a save point. Especially after you fight a boss. I don't know why it does. the game just doesn't like naturally do that. Um, it would make a lot more sense if it did. Okay, I got the health back. I think we're on the... Ex pretty much the same track as before we came in here we got lead pencil we walked over here we took the luck up we took this we flipped this we got the bomb we got you we have 33 cents now we walked down here we killed you you dropped a penny i probably summoned this or something and i know i'm not going the exact same order i'm actually just running wherever i can right now i might be getting slightly different stuff i don't know i really don't know it, like trying to get the exact same thing is not always going to happen now i'm going to try to make the same decisions uh, that i can like i don't remember what order i went to each room I, that is honestly irrelevant in the situation I, it's not my fault the game it, i mean i guess i kind of did cause the game to crash when it came to using the asa i'm pretty sure it always crashes your game I, i'm pretty sure i've known that and i still did it now did, did i remember it no did i know it I probably knew it, you know? And there's, there's a difference between those two things. Oh my gosh. Am I taking less damage than last time? I don't even know. I'm kind of like, I'm on something different today. I'm on a different wavelength. Okay, I'm going to not take that red heart so I can get more health. And we go, you? Hierophant. I'm glad I got rune card. And you know what? I'm going crazy this time. I'm blowing it up. I'm blowing us sky high. Justice. Oh my goodness. Now this is going to give me more health, which is going to change the fate of the run. But I, I could care less. I'm going to be honest. I don't, I, I, I don't know. I'm not going to, I'm not going to do everything the exact same. No matter what, I would have re-rolled and done something at some point. Who knows? Who knows? Is the fate of the game changed? It is forever. You know what? I ruined it. It's different. Now, we're not going to get Asa or whatever. Now, what we can do is we can do this, which is kind of crazy strats. We come back here. We run, run over here. We run, 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 run. And we just keep sacrificing to this guy. Now, I don't think I will get the soul again. I think my luck has changed. No, I do get it still. Okay, so I used you. Forgot that it spawned this. Now, I'm not going to do the same thing I did last time, right? Also, I think you have... This guy has a trinket. I don't know what trinket he would have, but... Okay, you don't get affected by that. I'm just going get to get rid of you. Yeah, I wasn't going to get that anyways. Ace of Hearts, Hangman... Temperance, Ace of Clubs. I'm going to use... Oh wait, that's two of clubs. Okay, I'll use that. I'm going to drop everything I have. I'm actually going to go do something. It's going to take me a second, but it's going to be worth it. I'm going to go pick up every single uh, trinket. Not every single one. I'm going to pick up like two trinkets on the floor. And just bring them in here. Oh, well, that's not what I meant to do. Taking you. I'm just going to do this because it's easy enough. I... I'm going to leave my... I'm going to blow this whole wall up. I don't even care. Uh, I'm going to drop these two out here just so I don't mess anything up. I'm going to take you. 
I know. This is going to be the world's longest run ever. I mean, every run, run I do at this point is for some reason. I just take forever. I'm not a very fast player. It takes me a second to decide what I want to do sometimes. And that did change the fate of that room. And not in my favor. Is it not, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I don't even care. Right here, this is just free money. I know you might be like, what? That is worth it. Just go buy something. You know what? I messed everything up. I'm going to keep it this way. I don't know if store credit actually gets me like the keeper sack stuff. I might go use it. I don't know. I don't know. Is there even anything else left to use it on? There shouldn't be if I played it right. You know what? I'm taking. I'm taking you. I just need the health, honestly. Can't even can't even blame the game. I can't blame the game actually. It's the game salt. I'm just pulling up everything. You you you've made a demon game. Ooh, Yara's actually kind of sick. I'm gonna do something kind of dumb. Um. I'm gonna Yara everything in here. They might be like, that's just not a good idea. It's probably not. I know. I should have I should have waited for all the hearts. My bad. Um, but we get this, right? And what we can do here is we can get full health. We can go, er. And this is just so we can get stats. I know I didn't do that in the perfect order, but who cares about perfect order? Not me. Not me at all. And this is just a game of getting as much stats as we can. And we take you. I know you might be like, why are you taking all that damage? There's no reason for me to have more stats than this. Now we can go take this all the way to the shop. Now I'm going to come all the way back, get flat file. And it's going to be this whole awkward process of having to do stuff. I know the fate has changed. I'll know that forever. And so you don't actually get a stat increase from it. It looks like, um, that's, it, it does make sense. I should have just bought that sack when I had money. I had the money the whole time. A weird decision on my part but it was a free sack it doesn't really matter too much it, i probably should have just gone a heart with that to get a stat increase and then paid for the sack honestly that would have been just the smartest decision so it's more hearts mean more money for me because i can just get rid of hearts for money i'm gonna not use the devil card on this one i probably should try to take as much damage as i can to keep it to keep, to keep it honest if you do the dash attack, okay, you know what? He's not keeping it honest. You're not keeping it honest. If you're not keeping it honest, I'm not going to keep it honest. And it is a different item. And it's the same item. Okay, you know what? Good. Fantastic. Awesome. Next floor. At least the game gave me the same angel item. I think angel items are seated. Not, they don't change based off of luck. I know that item room items can change sometimes. I think based off of the luck stat that you have. I don't even remember. I might be lying but I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember. Listen, I'm just stepping on that. No damage for me today. Sayonara game. Oh, that's hype. Let's go. Seraphin is not bad. It doesn't help me a lot. Star card gets rid of my earliest item, which is. Fall a bandage. Okay. That just like threw my entire world through a loop. I don't even know what just happened. I'm going to be honest. I know exactly what just happened, but I it hurt my brain. Okay, so I want Echo Chamber. Echo Chamber, good. I don't really want Keep Straw Man. When he dies, spawns a blue spider to permanently remove Straw Man and any item that he has up. Double item costs coins while Straw Man's alive. Straw Man can pick up st story items, which is so stupid. You can pick up a story item with him, it ruins the rest of your game. Now, one thing I'm going to do is just going to go crazy. Who needs health? Not me. We take all of you. We take you. And you know what? I'm probably going to take damage on this floor. No. Oh, wait. I have flight. <laughs> I have flight. I'm so stupid. I was like, oh, man. I destroyed the poop. I can't ever get over there. Literally can get over there. Hype. Okay. I keep saying the word hype, and I don't like it. Uh... Poison eye, whatever it is. Also, what am I? Give me back my item. Give me back my item. Stop, Guppy's head. You're so rude. 
I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna go clear a couple rooms, then take pick up the battery. You know, be a good citizen, civilian, whatever it is. Don't give me another tier eight. I swear, there's too many tier eight up items in this game. Every item you get is a tier eight up, pretty much. Uh, answers. I'm using. I'm gonna. I'm gonna use you, and this is gonna give me crazy amounts of keys. Nice. Oh wait a sec. Now I have answers and two spades in there. Okay, wait a sec. I keep on forgetting that I have an item that I need to like kind of like use correctly. Now I don't have any bad like pills or anything in in echo chamber, so it's not like I'm failing anything. I'm fine. I gotta be careful. It's like you freaking have holy mantle and everything. I already can hold two cards, runes, and all that. So I take this, which is sick. It's one of the best familiars in the game. It does more damage than any other familiar, I believe, because it does do Sacred Heart tiers, which do 3.5 damage times 2.3, I believe. So it's like four point something. I can't remember. Um, if you use this, I think dies and immediately revives at half a heart. This item automatically used upon taking fatal damage. It's crazy. If you actually use it, it just kills you. It's like, it's kind of metal. Kind of, kind of, kind of high. I need to not spend my money. Okay. Okay, we kill them one at a time because we're that good. Oh my gosh. We kill them one at a time because we're not good. Okay, we take you, take you, take you, and you, and finally you. The Hermit card. It's like I can double back here. That's crazy. Okay, are there any other cards? There are some other cards I should go take. I don't know why I didn't take the Strength card. I keep like just not taking items because I like, forget that I can. And I know, I should just go back right now. These things are going crazy. Um, I don't think I need that. I'm going to go get the strength card real quick. The thing, strength card is just going to get rid of my most valuable assets, aka my soul hearts. Which is not the most, not the greatest idea. Okay. I don't want you. I don't know where I'm running exactly. I know I'm just trying to get this. A straw man is just not it. If I had a sacrifice on this floor, I would take straw man. Uh, I just hate straw man with a passion. Maybe straw man has a use somewhere out there for somebody For me, not really Not really at all. The fact that you can't actually control straw man like what the items that straw man uses makes it so straw man is just bad You know what? I'm gonna use the devil card just to get my damage up Crazy how we missed boss rush. I almost thought we were gonna get it. Not gonna lie Knocking on wood and I'm gonna take the negative and I'm gonna do this why because it lets me go back to this floor um and just redo it i have mapping this is the last floor that had an item room on it and a shop so this is just the best floor for us to do this on if we went to any other floor it'd be kind of not a smart idea because any other floor would be kind of useless because we wouldn't have any item rooms you really just want to get more item rooms and stuff i'm just gonna use the star card now this is I thought that would be maybe better. I do not want that. I do not want you at all. I don't mind it actually, but I actually do mind it a little bit. I don't want this anymore. You know what? I like it. I, I like it a lot. It's my favorite actually. Let's just use it forever and ever and ever. Oh my gosh. It's a lacquer phagey tier. Okay. Soul of Jacob. Get out of here. Nobody wants you here. Oh my gosh. It, it, it did something to me. Oh no, I have the, oh no, I have the star card. Not the star card. Hey, what are you? The moon card. Let's just teleport everywhere every time we use a card now. Also, we can't even get to the boss arena room now. The game hates us. What is this? Easy. It just sucks that you can't go to the boss arena room after finding like keeper in the in that one in that room. So can I just get all my health gone? Let's go. You know what? That's a isn't that a speed up usually? Okay, I just need any active item in the shop. That's like all I'm asking for and all I want. Because I don't want I don't want this. I I mean I know it's good. It's good. It's fine. It's doing great. It's doing wonderful actually. But this is actually a lot more interesting. Interesting. Interessanto. Okay, we use we take Perthrow. 
if I use Perthrow right now, it goes onto our goes onto our stack of items. I need more. I'm going to test something. If I use... Well, I can't use those together. Um, that's fine. I don't know what I want to test. I mean, I know exactly what I want to test. What I want to find out is if I can... Use my strength card. I don't even know. I want to use, I want to use my strength card without making it go into my echo chamber. And can I do that? I don't know. I'm going to try it out because why not? Um, we take you, then we take you, and then we pick up you, and then we flip over here. Okay, so we can use our cards without echo chamber procking if we're careful. Is that something I'm going to do too often? Maybe not. Okay, uh, you're the Wheel of Fortune. I'm going to pop you open. I really just want to get, like, you know, Kurtorn or, like, Cancer would be pretty fine. Ca Cancer would actually probably be better. I just need cards that allow me to, like, not teleport somewhere. I know I have those cards. Yeah, I'm just going to start popping cards. Because I need to stop teleporting. You know what? Okay, so that's going to drop a bunch of stuff in that room. And right now I have the moon card still. If I use... I don't want to use the Hermit card. I want to use the Wheel of Fortune card. That's going to spawn you. A fortune. And I'm going to come here. And now I'm all good. Now I don't teleport anymore. As long as I play this correctly. I don't want to teleport. I really don't want to teleport. And what I do want is my rune back. Now, this the reason this helps me is because now I can actually reroll my, my angel deal if I get it. Because if I reroll my angel, you don't teleport out of it. That's not super good. And you don't really want teleport items at all whenever you have um, Echo Chamber. In my humble opinion. Okay, take you and get on out of here. Okay. I did not mean to use that. It's just how we lose out on health. I should be fine. I can go get health over here. Uh, I have Perthrow. I'd rather have Perthrow. You know what? I'm going to come up here. I'm going to go see if I can per throw whatever's in the shop. That, that hurt my brain for a second. What the heck? Okay. I don't know what's happening. All I know is I want filigree feather and not whatever I have here. Now I'm going to pop this. Do I want to pop this again? I have Ansys or Cano. I don't even know. I'm so confused. Um, oh my, I have so much money. How did I get so much money? Let's see if this can pay us out with something decent. Oh my gosh, not really. And this is, this is pretty good. I want to, I want to take Filigree Feather just in case I get more angel statues. And this right here is to see if I can get anything anything nothing okay so we take you i feel like i just want to take this i feel like that's fine actually i want to go take perthro what am i talking about perthro is probably the best and what are you two of clubs oh i have a yara in there wait a sec okay i'm gonna go i'm gonna go perthro okay wait a sec i'm just I'm going to go Perthrow this again. What do I have here? So it's all Perthrow. What the heck? Why is it all Perthrow? I'm so confused. It shouldn't all be Perthrow. Anyways, we're out of here. I don't even want to do this anymore. Um, This is fine. Can I get an angel deal? I almost didn't check if I had Filigree Feather. I'm glad I did have Filigree Feather. And this does not help me with Filigree Feather. I'm going to be honest. I'll take you because we already have the other... Let's see what you have. I'm going to use the strength card to re-roll. And I'm going to use the perthrow to re-roll. And honestly, I'm taking this. And I'm also taking Cambion Conception. Because I'm like guaranteed to get Cambion Conception to proc. Which is kind of hype. And what's good about this is I get all of my health. I can get all my health back and get like extra stats for it. So you see that? I took a bunch of damage. 
I receiveth a damage. I don't even know what the correct verbiage is for that. And if I take damage, I can get more health pretty, pretty easily. I'm just going to have a lot of health. And health is good because health gets me stronger. Okay. Uh, we want to pay you out. I don't really want more red heart health. But, like, compass would be sick. Yeah, more red heart health is not the best. But yeah, what's really cool about uh, Blood Oath is it does proc on damage effects. Which is just ge genuine, genuinely the best part about it. Because what's good about proccing those is that Cambry Conception procs off a of damage. Um, a lot of stuff procs off a of damage. I don't need Filigree Feather anymore. I just can't use that. So I will take Nose Goblin, I guess. I don't have any evil items. I know. What else? What other item did I take? Oh, Cambry Conception. I don't know why I forgot that. Oh. Damage is damage. So what, what card did I not take? Oh no, I also have Holy Mantle. I'm like really fine right now. Also, I'm gonna take Hangman, Tower. Neither of them are that good. You know what? I can I was just gonna pay that one guy out to see how what trinkets I could get. I don't have money. Look, it doesn't matter if you take damage. That's the cool thing about this this game. You can take as much damage as you want and be fine. So I just need a better trinket. Filigree Feather was a cool idea. I just got it way too late in the game for it to ever actually like net me anything for me to facilitate any good items that's what i should have said okay can i just get out of here look at this you're gonna die still okay i'm just getting like not that good of items if the if the boss wasn't down here i'd be surprised also can i get a devil deal that'd be super super cool if i could i have like way too much health so do I have a Perthro still? I do saw a Perthro and a Gauze in there. So Perthro is good because I can use like Hangman. Hangman's just a free Perthro. You know what? I'm taking this. And do I just want to go Devil Deal? I think I'm just going to go Devil Deal. Because why not? Devil Deal sounds hype. I'm going to keep using that word forever and always. And can I do this floor? In no time. And look at that. We got Twisted Pair. And this is this is why Kami Conception is a good idea. Like, the I would almost never take Blood Oath. In, in most circumstances, I would just wouldn't take Blood Oath. And that's cool because now we don't take damage to spikes. I usually wouldn't take Blood Oath because Blood Oath is just genuinely not like a super, a super crazy good item. It's only good because we have an on damage effect. On damage effects are generally pretty good items that just can be unfortunate sometimes because you can't really get like activate them too often hmm. i'm very close to conjoined and conjoined right now would be quite crazy i could have gotten conjoined conjoined before but that would mean that i wouldn't have had twisted pair i think i just stand here and i don't take damage nice I just don't have that many good cards right now, but we should be good. And I'm just gonna bl I'm blowing up every rock to try to get a uh, dry baby. Or any baby, for that matter. Uh, I'm going to take Temperance. Temperance is pretty decent. Just because I can lose health if I really need to, to get more stats. And I want you. I like more luck. More luck equals more chests. More chests equals better time. Should have opened that earlier, but good. And the boss shouldn't be down here, but it I'm just checking. I need to check everywhere. And look, we're only getting chests because we have really high luck. High luck equals more chests. More chests equals good time. Good time equals I like. Since we have Holy Mandel, it's really hard for us to lose um, perfection. Now, could I lose it quite easily? Yeah. I'm quite reckless when it comes to taking damage, especially this late in a run. Like right there. I, I don't really care if I take damage. It, it is what it is. that not blow the right wall up there we go okay i was about to say i'm like that should be the secret room right and it was and it's just money and i don't even care about that nice okay um i might i'm not gonna take soul of azazel soul of azazel is great i do like it but no reason for me to take it and an eternal heart's not terrible i'm going for the devil deal so as much health as i can have 
I kind of want. I also want to lose as much health as I can on this next floor to maybe get another familiar. Brimstone. Nice. And let's see what we can do here. We still have a per throw, right? We do still have a per throw, which is nice. We're going to go next floor. I know I probably should have gotten more health or something, but I don't know. I don't really care too much. That's good. Do we get anything else? No. Okay. So here, um, oh, we don't, he doesn't count towards conjoin. I always forget that. Okay. We're taking you. We're taking, taking you. We're going to do this. I should still have a per throw, right? I do still have a per throw. I'm going to reroll. And this is quite crazy. I know we don't like, this is crazy. Watch this. That's awesome. Okay, you know what? It's time to fight Mega Satan. This is a really, really crazy run. Lacrophagy with any sort of tier rate up, like anything that gives you really, really high tier rate, just means that you go really, really wild with Lacrophagy just combining on itself. And Cricket's body also makes it so we're just like shooting a lot. This is just like fireworks on my screen. Wow. I like this. This is a fun combo. We do so much damage. I feel like this is the highest damage you'll do with like almond milk without having like rock bottom but it would have been a lot cooler if we could have gotten conjoined which i could have probably if i just kept on continuing on this floor but i definitely would have gotten some chests you know what? let's kill you before i die thank you that was really cool but since it has been an hour i am gonna call it there um i don't think there's much else to do i probably could have fought delirium and been pretty fine but i'm just tired guys it's been an hour Super, super good run. Super, super fun time. Getting almond milk at the end was pretty cool. Uh, Lacrophagy turned out to actually be useful, even though at the very beginning, it wasn't the item that we necessarily wanted. But if you guys did enjoy that video, make sure to leave a like. It really helps my channel. helps me grow. Thank you guys all for watching. And as always, it's Infreets. Peace out.